The top 10 is nearly complete. Now with two spots left, eight singers get a second chance to win your votes. Andrew Broderick, Jason Greeley, Elena Watko, Bernard Kilala, Raj Ramawad, Kyla Sandalak, Ted Senegal, and Liz Titon. It's the wild card round. Four weeks, your votes have catapulted Joshua Seller, Brandi Callahan, Kalen Porter, Caleb Simmons, Teresa Sikerka, Jacob Hogard, Shane Weeb, and Manoa Hartman into the top 10 fortress. With just two spots left, the stakes are rocket high, especially for tonight's competitors. They're the wild cards, eight talented singers from the top 32 who've been brought back from the brink by our judges. As each wild card sings, you'll see a number you can call toll free after the show to give them your votes. Now, who here can't wait to vote? I'm sure you all know how much your votes mean to your competitors. So when the hour's up, pick up that phone and make a difference. Or use your cell and send a text message for just 25 cents. Either way, you'll be changing two lives forever. We'll have all the results tomorrow night at 8 p.m. in most time zones. Now let's say hello to the people responsible for the depth of tonight's talent pool. The judges, there's Jake Gold. Hey Jake, you ready to hear from tonight's playlist? Well, you know, looking over the list, I noticed there's a lot of great songs, and I hope that uh, the contestants can step up to the plate today. We picked them. We hope they can do what we asked them to do. All right. Farley Flex. Yes. Farley, you think we've got a fight on our hands tonight? I think we do. I'm ready for it. I hope the contestants are. They all were, you know, really close, so this is their opportunity. Well, it's going to be fun. Sass Jordan. Sass. How hard was it, really, seriously, how hard was it picking those people who were going to make the cut and those you were going to have to leave behind? Well, Ben, uh, you know, we had a couple of little squabbles, as usual, but it wasn't really that difficult because we already liked everybody. We put them in the top 32, so it was pretty easy. And everyone's favorite, Zach Warner. <laughs> so, uh, Zach, what do you think the competitors learned from the last time they were here? Well, they mostly learned what it's like to lose um, you know, so I think hopefully they learned something. A lot of a lot of wild cards have done really well on these shows. Ryan's a good example. Clay Aiken's a good example. So, you know, everybody should fear the man who's got nothing left to lose. Right? We'll see who's ready to play this game. Very well said, Zach Warner. Thank you. And as always, the man behind the music, Lou Pamonte. Lou, you ready for a wild ride? Strapped in. Let's go. Uh, all right. Well, now let's get ready to meet tonight's competitors. Bernard, Liz, Raj, Kyla, Ted, Elena, Jason, and Andrew. Welcome back, Wild Cards. Oh, it's so good to see you again. Bernard, did you ever think you were going to be on this stage again? No, it's a complete surprise, but definitely a welcome one. You actually left your birthday party to come here. Yeah, <laughs> had to. <laughs> Jason, what do you think of the company you're keeping this week? Do you think uh, the, the competition is stiffer now than it was last week? Uh, let's just say I have a lot of respect and love for everybody on these couches. Well, Raj, you were watching the show on TV where, when your face popped up in yep. the wildcard announcement. What was that like? Well... In a matter of 10 seconds, I went through shock, surprise, happiness, and then realizing I had to go home and pack in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bernard is our first performer tonight. Jake, why did the judges pick Bernard to show up for the wild card? Well, we felt that Bernard had a lot of soul 
and was a really fantastic singer in the earlier performances that we saw of his. Unfortunately, his last performance didn't show everything he had. So here's an opportunity for him to let to show us and to show the rest of Canada how good he is. All right. Well, Bernard, time to show a Canada why you're back. Bernard Kilala, everybody. <laughs> Hey, I'm Bernard Kilala. I'm from Edmonton, and I'm back again for the wild card. Last time I was here, I felt it was one of my strongest performances. Canada voted. You're in the top three, dude. <laughs> to be that close. The second person to move on tonight is none other than Jacob Hogard. It's heartbreaking, but I was really happy for Jacob and Teresa. This time around, I've chosen the more upbeat song, and I just want Canada to be up on their feet. Between the two of us guys, you know I love you more It took me by surprise, I must say When I found out yesterday Don't you know that I heard it through the grapevine Not much longer would you be mine Baby, I heard it through the grapevine And I'm just about to lose my mind People say be what you see, son and none of what you hear, but I can't help but be confused, if it's true, please tell me, dear, do you plan to let me go for the other guy you loved before, don't you know that I heard it through the grapevine, not much longer would you be Uh, Bernard, it was a good performance. For me, it wasn't a great performance, which is what I expected, but it just wasn't great. All right, thank you. Yeah, it looks to me like you spent some time working on other aspects of your performance, and, you know, in the Wild Card Show, some wild, wild notes happened there for me. All right. Well, Bernard, I love the tone and that sort of cutting edge in your voice. It sounds like almost like a trumpet, which I really like, but technically there's some deficiencies that I... I'm having trouble getting past, so okay. I think it was that great. I like the jacket. The jacket's really cool. Um, yeah, there's black notes and there's white notes on the piano. You sang about half of, the, in, half of that song in the cracks in between them. It just wasn't happening for me at all. It's mostly like you did this one thing on the other show. You did this thing this time. If I gave you a third choice chance and we combined the two, maybe you'd get there. Unfortunately, there ain't going to be no third time, bro. All right. Thank you. So compare your first time here with the second time. Uh, I think vocally I was stronger the first time around, but uh, I'm definitely I had a lot more fun with this song this you time. Yeah, more fun. Yeah. yeah. Were the did you come out here like a wild card with nothing to lose? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. There's definitely nothing to lose, and so I just wanted to come out here and uh, show Canada a fun time. Well, I, I think we all had a great time, didn't we? <laughs> to vote for Bernard, call one eight six six nine idle zero one after the show. 1-866-943-6501 or text the word VOTE to 436501. Very good job, Bernard. We still got seven more All or Nothing performances coming up when we return on Canadian Idol. <laughs> Welcome back to Canadian Idol, the wild card round. Farley, Who's our next wild card and why? Well, our next wild card is Liz Teton. I call her Titan, you know, I do. Um, but, uh, you know, Liz is really young and has a tremendous amount of talent we saw in her first audition. She deserves hands down a chance to try again. That's all it is. All Simple right, well, let's that. give her that shot. Give it up for Liz Teton. <laughs> Hi, my name is Liz Titan. I'm from Montreal and I'm back. I was really happy about what I did and I was even happier when I heard the, the comments from the judges. I personally say we need you in the top ten. 
the last member of tonight's top three is Elena. I was kind of sad to not make it, but I think this is going to be a strong group and I'm kind of scared, but that is pushing me to give, to bring it. It's over now I can't go back to living through your eyes Too many lines And if you don't know I still think you have a tremendous amount of talent. Um, I think there were moments there where it just needs a little work, but overall, it wasn't a bad performance. Uh, I, you have moments of brilliance with your voice, but overall, you're just not that engaging as a performer for me. You don't, you don't pull me in. I always feel like there's a, st I still feel like there's a wall between us. So I'm not, I'm not thrilled. Personally, I think you will be that engaging as a performer. People want you to smile and they want you to be things that aren't necessarily who you are. I thought you were more relaxed. It wasn't as good as you will be, but there's no one else who's competitive with what you can do. And I think that's important for the show. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, I feel very similar to Zach. I mean, you are the only real diva that we have. And uh, I want to see you move on so we can have a diva like you. Thank you. So you were telling me earlier that you're a lot less nervous this time. Yeah. So why is that? Because I know, I knew what to expect and yeah, I'm kind of get used to it, you know. Well, you know, um, even though English is not your first language, uh, you know, you know what the frisson is? You know, yeah. chair de poule? Yeah. I was saying that she gave me the shivers. <laughs> <laughs> to vote for Liz, call 1-866-9-IDOL-02 after the show. That's 1-866-943-6502, or text the word VOTE to 436502. The phone lines will be open for two hours, and we'll have the results live here tomorrow. Well, it's getting down to the wire for our next wildcard contender. Raj hits the stage after the break, so stick around. the wild card round where your votes will give two singers a new reason to dream big. Our next wild card competitor is Raj Ramawad. Sass, why did the judges decide to give Raj a wild card reprieve? Well, we brought Raj back because he has this kind of rhythmic sensibility and this smooth, soft flavor that we haven't actually seen elsewhere in the competition this season. And pretty much he's the only one who's delivered it so far. So we want to see some more. We want to see some more. We want to see some more Raj Ramawad, everybody. <laughs> Hi, I'm Roger Ramwood, and I'm back for the Wild Card Show and ready to go. On my last performance, I'll admit I was a bit shaky. I wasn't really myself. I still think you're an incredible singer. Good job. Yeah, I'm a big fan as well. You're the class of the field, dude. You rock. So Thank you very you much, know, sir. Right. Thank you. On the results show night, it was very nerve-wracking, and my heart was just like... You know? I'm sorry, you're not in the top three. I did feel disappointed, but I mean... That's the way things go. It feels really good to get a second chance because I know the judges pick the wild cards, and that means the world to me. <laughs> 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 
Lately I've had the strength just feeling With no vivid reason here to find But yet the thought of losing you Has been hanging around my mind Well, I'm a man of many wishes Hope my premonition misses And what I really feel My eyes won't let me hide Cause this time Well, that was a step up to the plate right there. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That was the most exciting thing all evening so far for me. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good description. You know, I mean, I see you in that mold, and it's not just your size, but in that Reuben sort of vibe. That's you got serious flavor, and you stepped up and represented. And good on you, man. Good pipes. Thank you. Thank I'm you. glad you did it. You know, we've we've talked about emotion a lot, and. You did it. You gave us exactly what we've been talking about with you. You stepped up. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you have a serious amount of technical ability, and you showed that tonight. The Star Search moment was there, all that stuff. The vol you know, I'm no they missed the point the last time. No one can miss the point of who Raj is now. Yeah, so you, whatever you, happens, dude, you stepped you opened up. up. You opened Thank up and you. did it. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Wow. You like holding those notes. Where'd they come from? Uh, they came from my stomach, man. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> but, but Zach makes a really good point. Yeah. What, um, do you think people missed the point the first time? Were you trying to, what were you trying to do this time that you didn't get across last time? Well, I think maybe the last time was a little bit reserved, man. And this time I was just... Too cautious? I just said, huh? you know what? Second chance. I really got nothing to lose. I'm just letting it go. Well, you, you let that <laughs> rip, my God. <laughs> to vote for Raj after the show, call 1-866-9-IDOL-03. That's 1-866-943-6503. Or text the word vote to 43603. Okay, you can head back to the couches, Raj. Job right. well done. <laughs> Zach, tell me why Kyle is back for another kick at the top 10 can. Well, you know, one thing we tried to do is not bring anybody back who was competitive with anybody else that we brought back. And Kyla certainly falls into that category. She's got really delicious tone for sure, but she reminds me really of an artist on that sort of Tori Amish, Chantel Creviazza, Sarah McLaughlin sort of vibe. And I think the last time she did this quiet, reserved jazz tune, hopefully this time, like she did in her original audition for us, she's really going to show who she is and where she comes from. Well, you just put her up there with some pretty big names, so let's she's hope she... Not, she's a serious artist, you know, I hope she can prove it to All us. All right, well, let's hear for Kyla Sandalak. Hi, I'm Kyla Sandalak. I'm back for the wild card show. God bless this child. My last performance, I had a really hard time picking a song, and I think I went about it the wrong way, and I think the judges were right. I was surprised you picked that song, because I never thought you were that kind of singer. The results show, I kind of knew what the outcome was going to be, and I was prepared for it. Kyla, I'm sorry, Joshua, you're moving on. I wasn't overly thrilled. I was really hoping that I would get a chance to come back and do it again. I wanted to do it. And this time, I'm just going to go out there and be myself. <laughs> Didn't it feel great? That felt really good. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see Oh, dark If 
of the sky that we look upon should tumble and fall. The mountains would crumble to the sea. I won't cry. I won't cry. No, I. Well, obviously, I know nothing about you whatsoever. Uh, I don't know the difference between what you did then and what you did before. I know I'm completely clueless. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't who I think you are. But obviously, I don't know you. Um, first time you sang for us, you did an REM tune, and that's what sent a message to us that, and you did it in your own way, that you were some kind of artist, and you still haven't done it again. Yeah, just song choice, in my opinion, in this case. Um, yeah, you, you put some just flavor moments in there. Yeah, just, I don't know. I'm lost for yeah. The delicious tone is, must be an acquired taste in this. Uh... Yeah, well, see, the thing is, I mean, I was going to say I totally disagreed with Zach, and I didn't see you as one of those kind of artists, but uh, I don't need to, because you guys all said it. Anyway, the point of the matter is, is that you have a nice voice, but you really don't have anything particularly unique. I think that's what it is. It just well, doesn't stand out. in this out context. In know, this context. Maybe as a song. Well, that's there. the context we're talking about. So that's what it is. Thanks, Kyla. Well, let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about song choice. Why did you decide to go with that song? I don't know. I wanted to do something up-tempo, something that was a bit bigger, but I guess it wasn't the right one. Well, no, you know, these are just four people. I mean, they're, you know, we, we pay them to show up here. <laughs> but that's, they're, they're just like everyone else. They got one vote just like everyone else. So, you know, Zach says he doesn't know you. There might be hundreds of thousands of Canadians who feel they do know you because of that. What Hope do you guys so. think? <laughs> huh? If you want Kyla in the top 10, vote for her after the show. Call 1-866-9-IDLE-04. That's 1-866-943-6504. Or text the word VOTE to 436504. Well, we got four wild cards down, four to go, starting with Ted when the wild card concert continues on Canadian Idol. Welcome back to the wild card show. It's time to hear from the next card in tonight's desk. Jake, what is it about Ted that made you think he was wild card material? Well, you know, first of all, Ted's the big man with the big voice, and he's got that tone that's reminiscent of Ray Charles and David Clayton Thomas, and the song he's gonna sing tonight should be perfect for him if he can pull it off. All right, great, well, let's hear it for Ted Senegal. <laughs> I'm Ted Senegal, and I'm looking forward to having a blast on the Wild Card Show. Georgia. The biggest thing that I took from that performance was to relax and don't tuck my shirt in. <laughs> I was really flattered by what Sass said. I forgot the show even existed. You're awesome. And when I found out that I wasn't going on... Sorry, Ted, you're not in tonight's top three. I was very comfortable with what I'd done, and so I was happy to go home with my head held high. No matter what happens, it's happening at the right time. If I look back on this and say that I didn't have as much fun as I could have, I'm gonna kick myself. <laughs> Jeremiah was a bullfrog, was a good friend of mine. Never understood a single word he said, but I helped him drink his wine. And he always had some mighty fine wine Singing joy to the world All the boys and girls Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea Joy to you and me If I was the king of the world I'd tell you what I'd do I'd throw away the cars and the bars and the war
You know, you know, Ted. Um, Ted, it's really great to see you having fun with this because it truly is a fun song to sing, and that's what it's all about. You it's really, there, you yeah. really portrayed the emotion of what that song's about. Yeah, it's always really good when you can connect with the song you're singing. None of these songs belong to you guys, but when you take ownership like that, and I don't know, it just fits you to me. So it can't be bad. Thanks, Farley. Yeah, you just have this aura. There's something just so lovable. I don't know. It just sucks me in every time. I loved it. Thought it was a good job. Thanks. I'd like it if I was heavily intoxicated, but... Um... You are, Zach. <laughs> well put. Well put. <laughs> yeah, I could hear the sound of remote controls changing channels all the way through that song. Oh. I gotta tell you, I think you're wrong, but... Yeah. You're entitled to your opinion, Zach. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, no. So he had that. He saved up that line. He had no one else to use it on. So yeah, he could use it on you. Um, okay, the sound of your voice and uh, just your enthusiasm was the same as I saw last week. But the presentation was totally different. What, what did you decide to do differently this week? Georgia means so much more to me. I had a lot fun, a lot of fun with it, but it has a lot more sentimental attachment to me. And this song is all fun. And I like the shirt too. Yeah. Thanks. Give it up for the shirt. <laughs> just bought it this week, man. <laughs> All right, Sunshine. Well, the vote for Ted after the show, call 1-866-9-IDLE-05. It's 1-866-943-6505, or text the word vote to 436505. We got three wild cards left, starting with Elena, when we return on... Welcome back to Canadian Idol, where success or failure is always just a few notes away. Our next performer tonight is Elena Watko. Farley, what put Elena's name on the wildcard list? What we found with Elena was that she has a natural abundance of entertainment value. The question is when to apply it and how to apply it. So in this case, we're thinking that she knows exactly how to do it, and we want to give her that chance. All right, time to test that theory. Time to light it up. Elena! Hi, I'm Elena Watko, and I'm back for the wild card. I've got to go, I've got to My last performance, Zach made a comment about me having some screws loose. I think there's no question that you might be, you know, a few bricks short of a load. <laughs> the last member of tonight's top three is Elena. Go take a seat. I made third chair, and I remember watching the results show, and you'd see the person who almost made it but not quite, and you're like, wow, it sucks to be that the person. And then lo and behold, Caleb Simmons. <laughs> It's just so nice coming back. We've all done it before, so it's a lot more comfortable. I'm still gonna go out there and do it my best. I'm so excited. Kiss today goodbye. The sweetness and the sorrow. Wish me luck the same to you. But I can't regret what I did for Well, there's, there's no question with that performance that the entertain, entertainment value that you bring, like I mentioned before, was better applied. I, agree, I totally feel that way. That was quite impressive, Elena, especially the way you, you did the contrasting with the very, you know, the, the, the quiet stuff at the beginning and then really came out and star-searched the moment there. That was really good. Better than I expected. Thank you. 
Well, obviously you were under a lot of pressure to try to show some other side because people sort of saw you as goofy and having a good time and that kind of screw loose thing. And so you tried to step up and do this and it didn't, it wasn't as good as it could be, although there were some really wonderful things in it. But I think you're the kind of rare, special, unique entertainer that I want to see in the top 10. Thank you so much. You know, uh, in your in your previous performance, you had a, lo a lot of movement and you were lacking in the voice. And now you stepped up to the plate with your voice. You gave us everything you have and tons of emotion. And I agree with Zach. I want to see you in the top ten. Thank you so much. Wow. Um, okay, I, I think you, you probably win the award for most contrasting performances from the, the first time we saw you. Whoa, where was this last time? I was having so much fun last time, and um, I guess I, at this time I just really wanted to show my voice, and yeah, so I picked a ballad and had fun with it still. Did, did, did everyone feel that voice? Yeah, wow, come here, come here. Wow, congratulations. If you want Elena in your top 10, and we got two judges who really do, call 1-866-9-IDOL-06 after the show. It's 1-866-943-6506, or text the word VOTE and send it to 436506. Now you can go take a seat. Congratulations, job well done. <laughs> Our next contender tonight is Jason. Sass, what was it about Jason that, that said he's gotta come back? Well, Jason is a perfect example of a, a natural performer. He's relaxed, he's comfortable, he has a sense of humor, he has grace. And uh, unlike he has, me, right? Unlike you, Ben. But he, has, he, he really has what I would consider a, a wide appeal. He appeals to people of all ages. I think he's terrific. All right, well then Sweet. let's hear Thank it for you. Jason Greeley. Hello, Canada. My name is Jason Greeley. I'm back, baby! On the performance show, I performed a song the way it was meant to be delivered. It was a heartfelt song. It was like you're singing to a girl. Jason! Well, I don't know if it's going to help you at all, but you are definitely my type. Canada voted. You're the first member of tonight's top three. Making it into the top three for me, I couldn't help but think about how much support was really coming from my home province. Everybody in Newfoundland must have voted like crazy. Manoa Hart. This is your last chance to, to try to get into the top 10. The cards are stacked very high. It's the hardest part where memories remain And it's times like these when we all need to hear the radio Cause from the lips of some old singer We could share the problems we already know all right. So turn them on, turn them on Turn on the sad songs Cause all hope is gone why don't you tune in and turn them on? All right. Cause sad songs they sing. Sad songs they sing so much. So turn them on. Turn them on. Turn on the sad songs. Cause all hope is gone. You know sad songs say so much. See, you didn't let me down. You didn't let any of us down. I that was great. Best. Good job. Good job. You know, I, I hate that kind of stuff. You know, it's like really not for me in any way, shape, or form. That being said, that was awesome. That was world class. The man himself. Thank you very much. That was world class, man. Thank you. You know, you uh, do exactly what we expect from you tonight. It was. It was great. It was unbelievable. It was like everything we think Jason is, Jason was tonight. It's going to be really yeah, tough we can tonight. Go home. I mean, that was that was that worth, was that was, that that was worth the price top. of admission, man. Yeah, honestly, yeah. like the wild card's about giving a leg up so you can step up. Well, you did that. You might have to wear a helmet. You just went through the roof of the wild card into the top ten. Yeah.
I'm just happy to be nominated. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, Ben. What's up? Okay, so the, uh, the judges last week said to you that you, your problem was you had an inability to step up, and now they're all saying that's exactly what you did. What, what, what happened last week that they didn't see that? I, I went for more emotion last week, more like heartfelt ballad kind of things, but that's not, it's not really me. It's, so when you found out you were going to be in the wild card, what was the first thing that went, went through your mind? What was the first thing you said you had to change? Go or back, showcase? Go back to me, go back, back to Newfoundland. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of Newfoundland here in the temple tonight. To vote for Jason, call 1-866-9-IDLE-07 after the show. 1-866-943-6507 or text the word VOTE to 436507. We got one last wild card waiting to sing. Andrew finally gets his turn when we come back. Welcome back to Canadian Idol. It is do or die time for our final wild card contender. Zach, tell me why we're getting to hear from Andrew again. Well, I mean, Andrew in this show is like a real wild card because I'm really not sure what we're going to see here. When we saw him audition, he's one of those really unique, special 17-year-olds, 16, 17-year-olds we saw who have multiple talents. Kid can sing, he can dance, he does R&B, does jazz, does a lot of stuff, shows a lot of potential. I need to see who he is, have him show us that he's a star, all right? That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. We believe this he's is it. Chance. Andrew Broderick, everybody. I'm back. What's up, Canada? It's Andrew Broderick. When I was here last time, I felt I gave an okay performance. The judges seemed to like it, except for Zach, obviously. It was just Stevie Wonder light. It just was not happening at all for me. I think people had trouble last time connecting with my song because it wasn't really well known. So this time I chose a slower song to showcase my voice. I love that. I thing. learned a lot about myself and a lot about performing in general. This time I will be more prepared. And there's no heaven It's easy if you try No hell below us Above us only sky Oh, imagine all the people living for today Ooh. You may say that I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one I hope someday you'll join and the world will be as a world. Um, with all due respect, in, in, uh, in three or four years, I'm sure um, I'm going to be fortunate enough to buy your records, but I, next week I won't be seeing you in the top ten. All right, thanks. You know, I, I disagree, Zach. I think that, Andrew, you, um, you made those words sound like they meant something to you, and you communicated the song, and to me that's what's important. Thank you. Yeah, for, for me it was a little bit of both. Like you add so much flavor to what you do, and I definitely see myself behind your record sometime in the future. Um, it's gonna be tough to see what happens here, but I mean you've got a ton of potential. Thank yeah, you. A ton of potential. Okay. Come on, let's like be flat out. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I, don't know, I, know, I know. Well, I don't know. You did some great stylizing in there that is actually yeah. m more mature than I would expect from somebody your age. I thought you did quite a good job. Thank you very much, Sam. Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Wow, I, 
You know what? I, that, I, that surprised the heck out of me. I thought that was absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Ben. I thought that was fantastic. And, you know, like with the song that you had uh, the first time, yeah. uh, th this, was a, this is a heavier song. This is a bigger song. And it seems like the bigger the song, the better you do with it. And just to reference what, what Zach says, we're not crowning the Canadian Idol today. We got two and a half months to do that. So if you're not ready today, that's why we have two and a half months of shows. Listen so. to the man, Zach. <laughs> If you want Andrew in your top 10, call 1-866-9-IDLE-08 after the show. It's 1-866-9-4-3-6-5-0-8 or text the word VOTE to 4-3-6-5-0-8. It has been an incredible night of performances and no wonder. It's their last chance to reach the top 10 and it's your last chance to get them there. So before the voting lines open, grab a pen and paper and write down the numbers of your favorites as we take a look back at all our wild cards. Don't you know that I heard it through the grip? Much longer would you be mine, baby? I heard it through the grapevine. I am not afraid to try it on my own, and I don't care if I'm right or wrong. I'm a man of many wishes. I hope my premonition misses. What I really feel. so you've got plenty of time to vote for your favorites. If the lines are jammed, you know the drill. Wait for the dial tone, and if it doesn't come, hang up, wait a few minutes, and then try again. Every vote counts, and a single vote can make a world of difference, so use your time wisely and don't give up without a fight. Tomorrow night, we'll be back live with all the results, and by the time it's over, we will have a complete top 10. It's going to be an amazing show. Thanks to our wildcard competitors and judges, and good night, Canada.